So let me show you four common mistakes that you might be making when playing power chords. And the first mistake is in your right hand, and that is uh, digging too deep into the strings. So if you're, for example, playing this A power chord that has an open fifth string in it, and you try to play it like this, you can hear that it sounds out of tune because uh, when you're, you're digging too, too deep into the strings, like this, open strings tend to sound sharper than they should sound. And, well, that makes the whole power chord sound out of tune. And normally it would sound like this. So as you can hear, uh, when you're using only the very tip of your pick to plug the strings, uh, there are no problems with tuning whatsoever. And it actually applies to like 95% of the things that you play on guitar and that way it's just much easier to plug the strings. And the next mistake that you might be making, it's in your left hand and that is pressing the strings uh, down too early before you actually hit them with your right hand. So normally a power chord would sound like this. And if you're afraid the chord before you hit the strings with your right hand, you will be playing two notes instead of one. And not only you're playing one additional note which you shouldn't be playing, but also if you're playing with drums, this, uh, this note that you're making with your left hand will basically destroy your groove. That's why you should hit uh, the strings, uh, you should fret the chord and hit it with your right hand at the same time. <coughs> And the next mistake that you might be making with your left hand is pressing down on the strings too hard. Uh, so if you're playing this D power chord on the fifth string, normally it sounds like this. But if you're pressing down on, with your pinky too hard, it will make uh, the fourth string go sharp and it will make the whole power chord sound out of tune. The same is true for your index finger. So that's why you should be uh, pressing down the strings only as hard as it takes you to make the string touch the fret. And the fourth uh, common mistake that you might be making when playing power chords is not muting the strings that you're not playing. So if for example you're playing this uh, G power chord on the fourth string, You should be muting the first and the second strings with your index finger like this. So as you can hear, I'm touching uh, all the strings below the power chord that I'm playing with my index finger. And if you're, if there's an arc in your index finger like this, you just won't be able to mute those strings and you will get a lot of noise. So you should position your index finger like this, so it's touching all the strings below the note that you're playing. The strings above the chord that you're playing, in this case uh, the fifth and the sixth string, you should be muting with these two fingers, so you just put them on those strings. So if you're muting with your index finger and with these two fingers correctly, you should have no noise whatsoever. <laughs> So those were four common mistakes that people make when playing power chords and if you think that you might be making one of them or maybe all of them, you should definitely try to record yourself, listen back to the recording, uh, figure out what's wrong with uh, your power chords and then work on one thing at a time and you will be able to get power chords that sound clean. <laughs> In the next video I'm going to be talking about how to switch power chords without making any noise. And if you want to see that video uh, and other quick guitar lessons like this one, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any suggestions or questions, leave them down in the comments below. Thank you for watching.